Hello everyone, this is a walkthrough of the first Robonomics Meter School 2020 lesson. This video covers an introduction to our services and focuses on the Fuji weather. This service shows the basic usage of our framework when building a human-to-machine communication. So let's get started. I will show you everything from scratch, how it would look like for newcomers to Web3 technologies. For this purpose, I installed Vival TV browser. I never use it actually, but my main browser is equipped with plugins. So let's start from a fresh installation. Let's start from going to uh, robonomics.network site. It's our main website and who is interested can get familiar with the site later. For now, I'm going to click the DAP link. And how you can see it, the DAP is not able to work without MetaMask extension. Here is the link and let's click it. Vivaldi uses Chromium engine, so let's install Chrome extension. It's fully supported and let's click add to Chrome, add extension. When it's done, we need to configure the plugin, get started. If you are a new user, you should click create a wallet. If you are an experienced one, you probably have MetaMask already. I click create a wallet. I agree. I need to set a password. I click agree on the license agreement and MetaMask shows me the seed phrase. It's required to save this some way in a safe place in case you would want to restore an account. For me it's temporarily, so I'm not gonna save it actually, but I needed to pass the installation process. Rubber rubber trick apple rubber trick apple loud wonder media loud wonder media Woman build supply. Woman build supply. Movie feed patrol. Movie feed patrol. Okay, and it's finished. I'm gonna close unnecessary tabs and let's go back to our DPP, refresh the page. And the tab asks the permission to connect to MetaMask API. Click connect. Here is how it looks like. And I leave this page for now. We are going to open the side pane and go to services and choose our today's topic, Fuji weather. You can see only one button is request current values. If I click it, MetaMask asked me to sign a message. It's important that we sign a message with our private key, but we don't actually sign a transaction, so that's why we don't need any ethers on the account. Click sign and it's broadcasted and we need to wait some... Yeah, here it is. It's really fast. When the data is received, the hash is shown here and we see what's inside. Uh, the DAP downloads the file from IPFS and reads its content. But you may wonder what happened in the background. There is an agent that is connected to the Robonomics network and the agent listens to all the messages and filters them by its model. If the agent catches a message, it packs weather data and broadcasts it back to the network. And we can see the data on the background. So let's do it again. When I click on the request, I sign a message and it's broadcasted to the Robonomics network where somewhere the agent is located and it listens to all the messages and filters by its model. So when I click sign, it goes not directly to the agent but it broadcasts it and the agent replies, the DAP decodes the result message and we see the result. Besides the data, there are share buttons. For instance, let's click on the 
Twitter button. Let's copy the link and let's see what's hidden behind the link. Yeah, as expected, we see a single me measurement which was received earlier. During, the, the, during this lesson, we haven't used blockchain part of the robonomics. We used IP face only. It's a modern promising technology in the future web. And this demo doesn't really look impressive, but we will cover bad examples in the following lessons. I hope you would treat this lesson as a, let's say, a starting point in your robonomics journey. That's it for now. I think there weren't any difficult parts in here. The hardest part was probably the installation of MetaMask plugin and its setup. And feel free to leave comments below or in any of our social network accounts. Stay tuned.